and welcome back to my studio. Today I'm preparing for a basketball themed party and I wanted to show you how I put together this basketball hoop arch. I've got it attached to a six foot table, but you could make this as big as you want, even over doorways. So follow along and I'll show you how I did it. This arch is made completely out of 260s and I'm using 20 in orange and 36 in white. Now I'm gonna be inflating all of these balloons the exact same way. So let me grab my hand pump and show you how to do that. I'm putting eight pumps of air into each balloon or leaving one inch of uninflated tail on the end of every balloon. Once I've got that, I'm just gonna let a little bit of the air out so it softens up the balloon and tie it off. Now you're gonna fill four of these and set them aside as singles, but all the rest of the orange and the white balloons, you're going to tie into pairs. And you're simply gonna do that by taking the two nozzles and tying them into a knot. This will give you eight orange pairs and 18 white pairs. So once you've got all of these gathered up, then we'll set up our arch. I'm using a six foot table today and the pull part of my arch is 10 feet long. Now you can always buy an arch kit like this, but I DIY'd this one and if you'd like to learn how to make one yourself, you can check out the link above. The next thing we need to do is cover this arch in all of our orange balloons. So I'm going to take two of my pairs and put the nozzles right against the lowest part of my frame, really close to the table. And then I'm going to take one balloon from each pair and twist those together and then do the same for the opposite. And then I'm going to twist the balloons again. And this is going to give us a really snug hold to the pole because the next thing we're going to do is twist these balloons around that frame. And we want that to be a really snug fit at the bottom. Otherwise Otherwise, it's going to start spinning with us as we twist these balloons. So we really want that to stay in place so we can get the nice tight rotation around the pole. I'm taking two balloons in each hand and passing them back and forth between my hands and wrapping these really snugly around the pole so I get a nice tight spiral. When you get near to the end of your balloons, you want to secure them in place. So I'm going to hold all four balloons between my index finger and thumb and pinch it. And I want to make sure all four balloons have come through my hand. And I'm going to take one of the longer ones and wrap it really tightly around where I'm holding it with my thumb and forefinger. And that's going to hold all of these balloons in place. Once I've wrapped that a couple times, I'm just going to take my scissors and gently nip the end of that so it slowly deflates and then nip all the other ones and tie them really snugly together. Just like the start of our spiral, we want the end of this to be really snugly adhered to the pole so that it won't untwist itself as we move forward. So I'm just going to go ahead and tie knots in all of those balloons and then trim off any extra balloon that may be sticking out before we go on and add our next set of balloons. I'm adding the next four balloons in the exact same way we did the first set, but the important thing here is to make sure when you're adding your next set, you get them as close as possible to the previous set so you don't have a big gap between your balloons. The other thing to keep in mind is as you spiral your balloons, you always spiral in the same direction throughout the entire arch. I'm rotating my balloons counterclockwise and I make sure that I do that the exact same way for each additional set. So in the end, I have four sets of balloons on my arch. Now, mine are not perfectly centered on the arch, which doesn't bother me, but if it's something that's important to you, you could always start in the center of your arch and build out towards the ends so that your whole arch is symmetrical. Between each set of balloons and the balloons in the table, there's gonna be a little bit of a gap. And I wanna camouflage where I've tied all of my balloons together. So I'm gonna take one more balloon and snugly wrap it right over that seam and then twist that balloon together a couple times to lock it in place. And this is gonna do a beautiful job of camouflaging any of our seams and maybe the space between the table and the arch. So once I've got that twisted together, I'm just gonna nip the ends so that they slowly deflate tie it off and then trim away any excess. And what you're seeing here, it would actually be the back side of this display. So once I've got this all tied up, I'll rotate this seam to the back so that when you're looking at the front of our basketball hoop, you won't see this knot in the balloon. Now we can start adding the white balloons which make up the net of our basketball hoop. I'm gonna take my first white pair and put it underneath the lowest orange balloon on my table and then twist the two white balloons together to lock it around my arch pole. I'm going to add a pair of white balloons every six inches across the entire arch, but I always want those balloons facing front. So if you're looking straight at the table from the front, all of those white balloons should be coming straight out at you. 
And to achieve this, you're going to have to tuck your white balloon pair behind an orange balloon in the twist. So I'm just gonna take one of those balloons about six inches up that's on the front side of my arch and then twist those white balloons together, locking it around my orange frame. I then moved six inches up from this pair and added my next pair of white balloons. Now I simply eyeballed the spacing on this and if it's not 100% precise, you can always go back and untwist the white pairs and move them so that it ends up being nicely spaced. Next up is weaving the net of our basketball hoop. And I'm going to start at one end near the table and that lowest white balloon you're going to set aside for the time being. And start your weave by taking one balloon from each pair and about six inches from the tie point on the frame, you're going to twist two of those balloons together. And the important thing here is consistent sizing. So trying to keep that about six inch length and making sure that twist is centered between the two previous points. If it's off a little bit to one side, your net is going to start having gaps and dents in it. So trying to keep it centered and consistent is going to be super important. Once you have the first layer twisted together, it's time to start making the second layer of twists from the frame. And this is going to create a diamond shape. So making sure that it's six inches in length from the last twist, and also making sure that your current twist is in line with where it's attached to the orange frame. As you build your net, you always wanna make sure that you're pulling it straight out from the frame and not down or to the side, even though that may make it easier to see what you're doing, you always wanna make sure this is coming straight out. So once you have your first set of diamonds made, this is where that lower balloon is going to come in handy. That balloon will always stay parallel to the table and is the end point for our net. So any balloon that's going to come down at this last balloon, we're going to twist together before sending it back up into the net. And this is going to give us a nice flat end point to our net and it won't be all jaggedy on the edges. From here, it's a matter of just repeating these steps until you have three complete diamonds from your orange frame to the end of the net or three triangles along the edge of the table. And that will be the finished length of our net. So until then, let's just keep twisting away until we get to that point. I wanted to pop in and let you know that I have a balloon recipe to go along with today's project. This is a downloadable PDF that includes detailed supply lists, illustrations, and written step-by-step -step instructions to get you through the entire project. I'll have it linked below in my shop, or if you join my Patreon at my party maker level, you'll have access to not only today's balloon recipe, but my entire library of digital products. So check out my Patreon membership or the shop below if you'd like to up your party game. And until then, let's get back into the project. Once you have your three diamonds made, we need to clean up the ends of our net. So I'm gonna take one of those balloons and push it in through one of my diamonds to lock that balloon in place. And then I'm gonna nip the end of both of those balloons and let the air out slowly. You don't wanna pop these balloons because if there's too much pressure and they explode, you're, you might lose the tail that you need to tie this knot. I'm just going to tie a double knot and then trim away all of the excess and work my way slowly across the net doing the exact same thing to the end of every diamond. Now you do want to be careful with your white balloons at this point because it would be just a travesty to pop one at this point. So be careful with the scissors or any pins or anything. You don't want to accidentally pop a balloon and have to go back and unweave anything. So just go ahead and trim up all of these ends and that will give us a clean edge to the front of our net. The front edge of our net can be a little floppy because it's so far from our orange support frame. I'm going to give it a little bit of support on the front side using a safety pin. Yes, a safety pin near all of our balloons. So I'm just gonna attach that pin to the front side of my tablecloth and then using a scrap bit of white 260, I'm gonna tie the safety pin to the very front corner of our net and then trim away any excess balloon. This will just give it a little bit more support on the front side and help it maintain that nice curve. And speaking of curve, I'm gonna go through and fill with some of my joints on the net and kind of just even out and smooth out the shape of that net. So if you twist some of the balloons, it'll change up how the net sits. And this is just something you'll have to play with a little bit until you're satisfied with the shape of your net so that it comes out nice and straight and is a smooth arc.
I hope you're inspired by today's project and give this a try. With a few basic tools and a couple balloons, you can make something really amazing. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button and subscribe below. And don't forget to hit that little bell if you'd like to see any of my future projects coming up as I do lots of balloon tutorials, party event setups, and tips and tricks that I've learned along the way as an event planner. So until the next time, you can check out some of my other videos over here. And remember, stay creative everybody! Bye!